Hey everyone, welcome back to Coda's Row. Today we're going to learn how to switch between first person and third person views in a third person project. This is a great feature to add to your game to give players different perspectives. Let's get started. So first I'll open up my Epic Games Launcher and you probably won't have this many projects, especially if you're brand new to Unreal Engine. And I'll go ahead and click launch. You can install an engine by clicking this plus sign here and then selecting which version you want to install. I'll be working in 5.3.2 because that's the latest version that's not in preview. So I'll go ahead and click launch and then I'll hit games and I'll select third person and I'll ensure that this is in blueprint mode. I'll go ahead and call this project blueprint series and I'll be making all my changes in this project for this YouTube series. So I'll hit create. You'll be greeted with this blank third person template. And if you drag this out and see the world settings, you can see your game mode over here where it tells you what default pawn you're using, which is your character, the HUD, control class, etc. And we'll go over that in the Unreal Engine 5 series tutorial. But for now, if you click this play button or Alt P, then you'll be able to see your character and you'll be able to run around this demo map. So the first thing I'm gonna to wanna to start to do is create my action control. So I wanna give my players a key bind in order to change from first person and third person. So I'll go ahead and click third person, input, and I'll create an action. And then I'll right click, and under the input tab, I'll create an input action. And I'll call this IA, which stands for input action, underscore switch camera. And I'll open this up. And now under this, I'll add a trigger and I'll select pressed. And I'll save that and close this out. Now I'll go back to my input folder and under IMC default, which stands for input mapping context default, I'll expand my mappings and you already see the preset that this template has jump, move and look. And I'll go ahead and add the IA switch camera that I just added. And I'll open this up and I'll select the V key on my keyboard. You can set this to whatever you want. And I'll go ahead and save this. And I'll close this out. And now I want to open my third person character or you can go directly to it by hitting this magnifying glass with the folder behind it on your default pawn class. And it'll take you right there, which is under content, third person, and blueprints. And then I'll expand this out. And now currently, if you go to the viewport, you'll see that default only has a third person camera, which is this right here, but I want to add a first person one. So I'm going to click add, look for a camera, and then I'll call this first person camera. And I'm actually going to want to attach this to my mesh, just like that. And I'll rename the follow camera to third person camera. And you'll see why in a second this is useful for us. So what I'm going to want to do in the first person camera is actually go to the parent socket under sockets and attach this to the head. And now I'll click this little arrow icon to reset the properties to default value. So it'll parent this up here. So I'll set my red, which is the X value on the rotation to negative 90. And then I'll also set, and I'll also set my Z axis, which is the blue one to 90 degrees on the rotation. And then for the location, which is my Y axis, I'm going to move this to 12 just to ensure that this gizmo, this white dot that you see in between all three lines is right in front of the character's face. And you can move this up and down as you wish. So I'll go ahead and click compile and save. And on my first person camera only, I want to make sure that use pawn control rotation is on. And then I'll compile and save again. The use pawn control rotation this tells us that if we move our character by moving the mouse in a first person view, the camera will also rotate in the same way, which is going to provide a first person perspective where the camera is attached to the player's viewpoint. And we don't want that for the third person, so it's disabled by default on this third person template. So now what we're going to want to do is actually begin creating our blueprint. What we created before was just our actions mapping. In the event graph, you already see some pre-made blueprints which are already commented and labeled. And this is good because it provides readability and understanding of what's going on. So example, we know that this controls the jump input, this controls movement, and so on. And in order to create a comment box, hover your mouse anywhere and hit C. So for example, let's call this switch camera from third and first person view. And I'll go ahead and expand that. And I'll make this a little darker just for personal preferences by clicking on this color box here. So now what I'm gonna wanna do is right click and add my input action, which is called switch camera. So you'll see this enhanced action event that we created. IA underscore switch camera. 
And if you expand this, you can see that it says triggered, started, ongoing, and so on. In our case, we're just going to have a triggered one and it's going to trigger a flip flop, which just means it's going to switch between A and B. So I'll hover over both of these and hit Q on my keyboard to make that line even. This is just a personal preference. If you hit Q on your keyboard, it'll even out the lines. So for example, if I added a bunch of these and just wanted to even it all out, I'll hit Q and they'll all even out. So now what I'm going to want to do is first, if we set active on our third person camera, and don't worry if you click something else like the first person one, you can just, you can just drag it from the side here. So I can just drag out third person and I'll connect this to the target because I'll be setting the third person as active and I'll click new active check. And then I'll also copy paste this for underneath it and set this to the B. And now I'll uncheck the new active and I'll go ahead and copy paste these two new actives right next to it and connect these. And I'll connect the first person camera to these ones now. And now what this is going to do is on starting, it'll set my third person camera as a new active and I'll disable this. When I click V again, because that's the keybind we set it to, it'll flip flop to this one down here and set first person to my new active. When our third person is active, we need to set our controller rotation yaw to false. So controller rotation yaw refers to the rotation of the player's controller, such as a gamepad or a mouse around the vertical axis, which is the Y axis. And the Y axis is commonly known as the yaw. So it's used in character movement and camera control to determine the direction of the camera or character facing to rotate them accordingly based on player input. So in a first person game, for example, moving the mouse left and right typically changes the yaw, allowing the player to look around horizontally. So now when we're in first person, we're gonna wanna set this to true. And now you'll compile and save by either going to file save all, which is very important because those changes we made to our input action mappings, we want to make sure that those are all taking effect too when we try this out. So now when I go back to my third person map and hit play, I'll be able to run around normally. And when I hit V, because that's the keyboard we set, I'll be able to see my character in a true first person state, which is exactly what we're going for. And you can see that the character also kind of bounces because the camera is attached right to my head. So this could be a cool feature of the game. Thanks for watching our first lesson on our blueprint tutorial. Like, subscribe, and comment on what you want to see next. If you want to support my channel, my Patreon link is in the description below. And I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thank you.